One, two, three, four. Past is history, future or mystery. Do you give consent to be filmed, Mr. Spoon, or is it Miss Spoon, or just Spoony Spoon? We won't put the video on you, don't worry. Oh yeah, so, our water source is coming from down there, near the sea. Sometimes when the waves are very big and there's a storm, it's uh, difficult to get the water from this source. But normally, it's a very nice place and it's a beach where you can swim and lay in the sun before you take your drink. And, uh, oh, the water is so tasty here, I can tell you. So this is um I found this like from a piece of wood I found at the beach. Driftwood. It was like an old olive root or something. And then I cut it into slice and made a pendant. I also mm. made this one from a branch that I found around like fire it was supposed to be firewood and then I saved it and made jewelry. Do you play? No. <laughs> yeah, you play that I'm one. Not really bit. good. Yeah, but I, I only started practicing. Come on, Tamara, <laughs> Tamara. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing I can say. <laughs> that's pretty good. You got a nice camp here. Too. Yeah, I showed the, the table, it's so good. And these old olive trees are just so amazing. Because you can, yeah, so many branches and cool shapes. You can hang so many things on them. Like here, we just used the olive tree as a, as a half table. This is another type of food that I build, but this is the beginning of the project. Can I? No, you don't want to be in the. Are you in the video also? Yeah. Sometimes. I want to film you in the hammock. Sure. <laughs> this is this was supposed to be Will's hammock to sleep in, but he doesn't sleep in it anymore. Now it's just for chilling during the day. Is it good? Chill zone. Good. <laughs> yeah, that's comfortable. Comfortable. <laughs> okay, guys, you can do the show. Okay. I'll take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> What, can we, what else can we show you? So now we can clearly see, guys, Sage. you don't have to stay inside your home. You can just uh, be in your hammock and be super comfortable, have the sea view, be in love with the Pachamama, love every sea. everybody, have I some smudge sticks. I made, these, I made these smudge sticks myself with the sage here from the land. That way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, frozen. Yeah, I made these smudge sticks myself with the sage here from the land that grows wild. And when we harvest the sage, <laughs> we, we take care of it. We just take like a little branch from each plant. Yeah, we don't like kill the whole plant, of course. You take like a little branch from different plants and then dry it and then make smudge sticks. It's not very tuned. Not at all. <laughs> So as you can see, we have here water coming out of the side of the cliff. There's a lot of clay deposits here as well. And the water is coming out and then it's collecting a little bit up here. And then you can see we put a pipe and the water collected then comes through the pipe. We put some clay on it to hold it in place. And you get this pure drinking water. It's so delicious. Mm. Can you, you want to taste some? 
Will the Reiki circle, do we have to all be there at the beginning or? Um, these are my clothes. I don't travel with a pillow, so I just use these as a pillow. Usually just this blanket, which uh, my friends stole from an airplane, from Air China. Um, so I'll use this as a pillow usually. And I was wearing all these clothes last night because it was a little bit cold. It wasn't that cold, but I don't like to feel cold, so I just put on all the extra clothes so I can feel really warm at night. Um, last night I slept over by that tree. Um, but then today there was someone else sleeping there, so I decided to come sleep here instead. But really I would prefer to sleep over there because it's really nice energy by that tree and right by the sea. Like, here it feels a little bit protected, but also kind of like I'm in a grave because it kind of goes down. And I like this tree, but I really like that tree more than this tree. Um, the trees here, some of them are very old, like olive trees can live to be thousands of years old. And these big ones, they take a very long time to grow so big. And yeah, a lot of my stuff is still up in the mountain. Should we shout it? Uh, yeah, One, okay. Two, two three. three. Food circle! Alright, so a lot of my stuff is still up in the mountain. Um, for a while I was keeping my wallet up there too, and nobody stole anything from it, so that was nice. I feel pretty trusting of this environment. Um, but also if people take my money, I don't really care that much because I, I have a guitar, so I can go to Saranda and play guitar on the street and make some money again. Um, and if people steal my guitar, there's like other instruments here, and you can always make a drum out of a bucket or something. And, make enough money just for food and can stay outside, so I'm not really worried. Hey there. It's a little bit messy in here right now, but uh, I like to sleep in a cozy, comfortable tent. I've got uh, even a rechargeable battery thing my friend gave me, but I'm not using the phone very much. In fact, most of the time we just keep these things turned off and put away when we're living in nature. It's a more connected feeling. Why use Facebook when you have real faces in front of you? There's some nice herbs growing here too. We took some, you can take the sage. I think it's sage, yeah, I'm pretty sure. And when it's dry, it makes a nice, beautiful smelling aroma. That would be up for it to, to build up the camp. Maybe I go tomorrow to the bunker.
Howdy. Walking along right now to check on some next moves because after one month of camping in nature in one spot, you exhaust a lot of resources and it's good to move a little bit so the land can replenish. And uh, there's a few things happening now. We have a second camp location already scouted and one person I think is staying there we'll see I'm going to visit and then after there's a house that we can stay in for uh, a base of operations that's gonna be a little bit more dry when it's rainy and a little bit more comfortable for some folks so we can do some projects in the community here in southern Albania it is so beautiful. Wow, I love it here. Yeah, there's a lot of people here from different countries and a lot have been staying here also for a few weeks. Um, right now is the end of the gathering, so it actually ended already, so people are leaving slowly and 
there's um, it's a transitional time. And yeah, someone hung their clothes up around here. These are not my clothes, but I do the same thing when my clothes get wet. I hang them on a tree so they dry. Um, it also cleans the clothes, like if they're outside during the storm, then all the rain and wind will dry them a bit. Um, my clothes, they haven't gotten that dirty because I'm naked a lot of the time here. Um, yeah, you can see the jeans are kind of dirty today, but in general, they're not that dirty. Also, a lot of times people are like leaving their clothes around and like these clothes are, I did not come with them, but someone gave me this and someone left this in the box for stuff that people have lost. So you can get clean clothes just by taking other people's clothes that they leave. Um, I can show you my other clothes, like, these are, uh, thermal wear. Um, I got these from a man in Kazakhstan who I met at a hostel, like, we were staying in the same hostel, but we didn't really talk that much, but then he saw me, like, leave and come back to the hostel, and he didn't know what I wanted, and I was looking for the train, and I got lost. And so he helped me find the train, he gave me the directions, and then he said later, if I come to his town, he can, he can help me there. So he gave me his contact, and later I went to his town. And yeah, he works on an oil boat in the Caspian Sea, so he had bought these because they're really properly warm. Um, there's pants, and this is a, a shirt inside here. So he gave me these as a gift. He gave me also a pair of socks, he gave me another shirt, he bought my train ticket to the next place, I stayed with him for free, he gave me food, he gave me lots of vodka, very very generous man, and he wouldn't accept any money back for any of this, like, Kazakhstan people, are, they have some money, but they're not super rich there, and, but the people are very very generous, helping me out, and I'm from USA, which is like a pretty rich country, but they still wanted to help me. Like, I guess I didn't have so much money, but I still have the opportunity to go back and make more money. And But they don't care. They just wanted to help me, so I accept it. This is from my mother. Um, this I bought in Saranda for 300 lek from the same shop as the blanket. I thought it's a pretty good deal. Like, it's pretty warm and it's kind of stylish. Um, Welcome to the house. One, two, three, four and a half, five, six and a half, seven, and this is the house. Well, oh, one of the rooms at least. Oh, wow. There's a single bed, double bed, another bed there. Are you crying? Television. Is this a password? Is this a No. Oh, my God. Yeah, it is. There's a bathroom there. It's a mirror. No. You can shower and you can. You cannot cook, no? Yes, there is kitchen, there is the outside that you can now cook there. The light? Probably is this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! What? Extreme. Look fresh? Extreme feeling, yeah. Ah, okay. Oh, it's me, yeah. Before birds with the sun. Still the same. You can look at yourself too. Another room was there, I guess. Not so ready as the previous one, but we can put some stuff and make it ready. Better? And there is a TV to watch yourself. If you... For the TV shows! <laughs> Chickens. 
そうな味付けのでチーズ<laughs> How does it look like? Village style? Any first impressions? Oh, I, I was just wondering if the turkeys will eat the uh, orange peel. Maybe they'll try it. Didn't even try it. They don't even care. <laughs> Smells bad. But yeah, first impressions. It's a nice place. I was thinking it would be double level, but I like it more on flat level. Mm -hmm. It's nice. The garden is pretty good size, and the rooms are comfortable. Already, we have a kind of stove there, so maybe the kitchen is going to be using that stove. We could even kind of make the kitchen a little bit outside, like do the cooking outside of a room and on a porch. Maybe a little bit porch kitchen could be nice with good weather. Or maybe make a fire somewhere there. Yeah, definitely. If people were talking, they want to make fire or cooking. Looks good. It's amazing. Look at this. It's paradise over here. <laughs> <laughs> not ripe yet. No, not ripe. Not yet. Not yet. We have to wait um, for them. Yeah, we need to wait. Yeah. All the good things in life, you need to wait. Are you ready? For all of them? Don't sometimes things come for free in life? Sometimes. Hey everyone, we are a group of people who have decided to stay in a house in Albania for this winter and you can come if you want and join us and be all together a big group where we volunteer and we contribute to the society in different ways. You can write to us for more information on Facebook Butterfly People, on Instagram ButterflyPeople.al on google butterflypeople.al at gmail.com write us an email there or follow this episode and all the upcoming episodes on butterfly people on youtube thank you very much for watching and see you next time albania premiere one two three four five it is